What's up everybody? Moving on to the next question. This question is going to be dealing with inverses and we're going to be relating it to a word problem. So the equation a equals pi r squared can be used to find the area of a circle a given the radius r. Two parts to this question. We have to find the inverse of this relation and describe what it would be used for. And then part b, find the radius of a circle with an area of 31 centimeters squared. So part a, we have to find the inverse. So what we would do is let's write out the original equation, a equals pi r squared. And what we're usually doing when we're finding the inverse is we are switching up the variables, the dependent and the independent variable, and then we're isolating for that dependent variable in that new switched equation, in that new switched relation. So when we switch the y and the x, then we're usually isolating for that new y. Well, whenever you're given equations that relate actual things, like a word problem, so notice how we're not just dealing with an abstract y or x, we're dealing with a, which represents area, and then r, which represents radius. We can't just switch these because then the equation will be wrong. So when we find the inverse, of a function that is actually representing physical things or a word problem, representing things in a word problem like in this case, we keep the variables as they are but we would just isolate for that other variable. So in this case we're just going to isolate for the r. So to do that we're going to divide both sides by pi. So we'd have a over pi is equal to r squared and then to isolate for the r square root both sides. So we would end up getting the radius is equal to the square root of the area over pi. And that is the inverse. And what it is used for, well notice that we can find the radius of a circle given its area. So in the original uh, equation what was happening was we were finding the area of a circle given its radius. It was a function of a in terms of r which was pi r squared. Right so we were finding the area given the radius. Well now with the inverse we have a function the radius in terms of the area, meaning that we can find the radius of a circle given the area. So that's what the inverse is and that's what it is used for. So now that we have that equation of the radius given the area of a circle, we can find part b now. Part b is asking us what's the radius of a circle that has an area of 31? centimeter squared. So we can use the inverse uh, equation that we found in part a. So it would just be the square root of 31 over pi. And when you end up inputting all of that in your calculator, 31 divided by pi gives you 9.8676. Square root of that would be 3.14. So that is the radius of a circle 3.14 centimeters if its area is 31 centimeters squared. And you can always check it with the regular area of a circle formula. You could just plug in that radius that you got here and make sure that you get an area that's really close to 31 centimeters squared and then you know you got the correct answer. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.